YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of the universal unit, Zeku's Way. Now, today I'm trying to review something different, uh, because I don't have any work today, I, I've, I plan to do something else, and here it is. Now, this is not a kit, believe it or not, but rather a figurine. This is the universal unit series, or um, the collection, which is basically a figurine, but this is one of the unique cases. These, these are one of those big figures, and they're a little bit pricey. So when I first posted the box on the internet, people were asking me, what skill is this? What kit is this? There were a lot of crazy questions going on, so I decided to make a review, so hopefully, so that we'll ask, you know, answer most of those questions. Now, let's get on to the review. Now, I have it on this... Display, uh, rotating stand, but despite how it looks, this thing does have some balance issues, so I'll get into that later. So let me put that over here. Hopefully it doesn't touch anything. I want to show you guys the box. This is the box of a universal unit uh, figurine. Most of, most of the time, these would look a little bit smaller. This is one of those special cases where it's kind of big, hence also expensive. Now, the interesting part of this box is that the there is no instruction manual. But you have the instruction manual is is the box, so you have to open or dismantle the box, I guess, to uh, see the manual. But um, I, I I wanted to keep the box intact, so I didn't do that. But yeah, I just want to show you that interesting aspect. And here, and believe it or not, despite not being a kid but a figurine, this thing does use stickers. And I'm just gonna say this right off the bat: uh, they're terrible. I'm just gonna say that they're terrible. Uh, I will point out there. You can see I did use three stickers, which I will point out which place I did because it looked like it. I try. I, I tried to apply some of them, but after applying three of these, they just look terrible. So just letting you guys know. Okay, so I would like to talk about what you get. Of course, uh, of course, you do you get the Zeku's Way itself. Those who don't know what the Zeku's Way is, it's basically based on the Zeku Eins, but. Uh, it's not entirely new Mosu, it's more like they basically added a whole buttload of basic equipment onto this. So it can perform multiple tasks and also use multiple weapons uh, at one go. So that's why you have, you can see there's an arm and you can see two more sub arms. So there's like six arms in total and there's a buttload of thrusters as well. Some people might call this a clusterfuck which I can totally understand that. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what else you get is that, as you can see on the left side, you can see it's holding a, I'm not sure which is the beam smart gun, but I believe one of these has to be the beam smart gun. So this is, a, you get two weapons. This one requires you to use two hands or two arms, so that's why I'm using one. And you, you, you have this one, which is a pretty much a more standard looking beam rifle that can be uh, used on one hand. Beyond this, you get two beam sabers. Now, these aren't your typical beam sabers that uh, you would expect to see uh, on a normal HG kit. These are just plastic pieces, so these pink parts are not clear pieces. This is just colored stuff. They come in colored, so no need to worry about that. Uh, beyond this is that you get six Panzer. These are called Panzer Foss, according to the wiki. Uh, you get six of these. You get six heads and six uh, sticks, so they also call these the club, according to the wiki. So yeah, as you can see, I only have one as an example, and you do you can see that there's like five more of the handle parts. The rest of the heads can be stored onto the Zeku Zwei itself. You can see that part as well. And those who are like kind of uh, wondering how how big this is, um, it's not as tall as a as a you know a normal high grade, but this does about 12, 12 to 13 centimeters in height so yeah um, it's not too small for a figure but at the same time um, not too big at the same time so it's kind of like one of those interesting cases okay now I would I guess I should show you guys what this is capable of doing such as articulation yes believe it or not despite being a figuring this thing does have some uh, um, somewhat a moderate amount of uh, articulation, believe it or not. So uh, I guess we'll we'll start with the arms. Now here, the arms. You can see there's a whole lot of stuff going on. But for the shoulders, right here, you can move it forward and backward. Yes, I was also surprised to see this. 
Um, those who are wondering of the amount of, of time that you need to take to build this thing, it's not too much. It doesn't take as much as building a high grade kit because, for example, the okay the main body and the waist section comes in built. They already come in built, so there's nothing you need to like build anything. Uh, some parts are already painted, so if you want to add more details, that's morally up to you. Uh, the only stickers I did actually use, however, are these. One that's on the sensor scope here, right over here. Uh, as, if you see sticker, now the green section, that's um, there's a bolded part in the middle, but some odd reason they do give you one that's on the left and the right side, so... Oh well, and you can open, oh, not that one, but you can open these things up and reveal micro-missile launchers. On the wiki, they said there were supposed to be 18 in total. I'm counting more than that at the moment. So, I don't know why, but uh, you do get stickers for these, but they would look terrible on these, so I might paint these in the future if I do have the time. So, but yeah, it's a really interesting, neat fe feature that it does have these missiles. So that's that. And yes, yeah, you can see the, the front skirt armor actually does move individually. Okay, now for the arms. Now you have... Okay, each arm has like two extra sub-arms. One that's on the side that's connected to the main shoulder and barely has any uh, much articulation except for going up and down like that. And here's another sub arm that's connected to the main arm, and you can, which is connected to a ball joint, so you can move left and left and right like that. And the arm itself can twist 360. What? Give me a moment. The arms can twist 360, but it's so stiff that I don't want to recommend to do it so often. So yeah, and the arms do go about 90 degrees to the side, and it has a really stiff. Um, almost 90 degrees bend right over there and you, as you can see the feet is going haywire crazy because despite having those such large feet which kind of makes me angry that this has a large feet yet it has balance issues because of these gigantic parts on its back that's connected directly to its back yeah uh, so for these arms you can actually connect pretty much anything on these you can even connect the beam rifle to these claws I believe I've tested this once yes they connect pretty well um, and yes the hand does also twist itself if you want to know you can put the beam rifle pretty much any claw or hand you want to do wish to do so come on yeah but um, there's a lot of stuff blocking its way so just be careful you can put it you can put it here or the beam savers can go onto the claw uh, and the hand as well if you want to do so so you can you can pull off a lot of interesting poses right here or if you can if you want to do so you can just get six of these panzer Foss and make it go like it's like a suicide bombing mobile suit which yeah um, it's going to be it may look fun by you know by looks but not gonna be fun for the pilot so yeah we can also put these the Panzer Faust onto the claw arms as well. And as I mentioned, if you don't want to, you can take off the head and attach the head onto this part so it, so it looks like it gets stored in there. If this does somehow in the future comes out as a high grade, it would be pretty interesting. Of course, there, the articulation wouldn't, put, wouldn't be much important at that point because this thing, yeah, it's pretty much a block or a brick, like the ZO. You don't see the ZO itself moving too much rather than floating around and shooting stuff. And yeah, um, so yeah, the only parts you actually do build is the arms, the legs, and yeah, these two big parts come in pre-built, and these, um, these thrusters are the only things you actually do build. Um, for the legs, they do have some uh, somewhat okay articulation, but very once again very stiff as well. The legs, um, they can go about that much to the front because of the side front skirt being a little bit limited. They're connected to a ball joint, so they do go to the side a little bit, and they do believe it or not do have side swivels, but very very st stiff ones. You know what? Good timing. Yeah, I'll just pull off one. It does have side swivels, as you can see. But, yeah, it's very stiff that it's not going to be much useful. Bend, it can technically bend a little bit. I mean, the, f the feet can bend, and the knee does bend, but once again, very stiff. Anything, everything here on the, on the figurine is very stiff, so um, 
Just be careful not to force anything too much, especially like the ball joints and such. Come on. Yeah, I think that shit is connected properly. So yeah, I mean, it does. It, despite being a figurine, this thing does have some moderate stuff going on. Um, for this, I, sh I guess I should show you guys the weapon. The way how this is connected, you have two handles here. One is on the hand, one is the claw arm, and it's kind of stuck there. I, I may have like forced it, but yeah, one of these handles is a ball joint, the other not being a ball joint. So it's a pretty, it's a neat looking effect where it looks like you're holding it in a different, you know, way than your usual one hand gun and such. Uh, despite anything else, these thrusters are, these thrusters are connected to a ball joint. So they do have some, you know, easy going movements going on and they do sometimes pop out like that. Yeah, the top ones do pop out because uh, these ones have the ball joint on them. This is the opposite. The ball joints are on here. But the, despite that, you do have some movement on these gigantic stuff going on like that. So um, if I don't know how you would fit this in an action base, but if you do manage, you, you can pu pretty much pull off some interesting stuff as long as you can think you can get the balance right. As you can see, despite those gigantic feet, it's really, really back heavy. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much it for the review. I mean, as much as I would like to show more articulation, there's not much going on. The body can move a little bit, but that's pretty much it because those arms and everything is like blocking the way. There, I, I guess there's no much movement on the head. There's like almost zero. I mean, look at the length of that head. There's no way that's gonna move. These are the two stickers I use. They're just terrible. I might, I'm just gonna peel them off soon, actually. But yeah, I get, that was the review of the Universal Unit figurine, uh, Zeku's Way. Now the price is not too friendly. It's it costs about sixty dollars or fifty dollars depending on how where you look at. Um, if you, I will mostly recommend this for hardcore collectors instead of just people who just got into the hobby. And the build, despite it doesn't take long, the part that you need to assemble, the pegs and holes are just so tight that some are, some are very very tricky to build. So I had to actually cut off a few pegs, not the entire peg, but I had to trim down a few pegs so it fits in the hold hole more properly. So yeah, that's one thing you just I would like to just mention. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the Universal Unit Zeku's Way. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. If I got anything wrong, leave a comment below as well. I still have more stuff to build and buy and re make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>